Given that both f and g are even functions, that means f of negative x equals f of x, and g of negative x equals g of x, what of the following must be true? Well, f plus g of x is the same thing as f of x plus g of x. So f plus g of negative x, what does this equal? Well, this equals f of negative x plus g of negative x, but that's just f of x and g of x because they're even functions. That's the same thing as f plus g of x. And this is the definition of an even function. So one is true. Now, if f minus g is, is, um, is odd, then it's going to be like this. f of negative g of negative x is going to equal negative f minus g of x. That's what an odd uh, function does. You can pull the negative outside of the x uh, right in front of the function. Well, here we have f minus g of negative x is the same thing as f of negative x minus g of negative x. Of course, f and g are, are uh, even functions, so we have this. But you can see that this is not. This equals f minus g of x. We do not get the negative pull out in front. In fact, this is an even um, function. So f minus g is not odd. Um, f times g is neither even nor odd. Well, f times g of negative x is going to equal f of negative x times g of negative x. That gives us f of x times g of x, which is just f times g of x. And that means that it's an even function. So it can't be neither, and it definitely can be determined. I just showed it here, is that it's even. So the only one that's true is A.